Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus. I'm Trace. This is a podcast style show where we break down a huge topic into five different chunks and release them in a series. So if you're interested in viruses, you have come to the right place this time around. Viruses are everywhere, but a lot of people don't really know what they are, where they came from, and which ones are even a threat and which ones aren't. So first and foremost, what are some of the worst viruses out there? The most famous virus in the world is probably the Black Death or the bubonic plague, right? Everyone has heard about this. The bubonic plague happened from 1340 into the 1770s, so early America's founding, uh, you know, Declaration of Independence. People still had the bubonic plague as well as in 1340. It's crazy. 75 million deaths from the bubonic plague are estimated. And what happens is the bubonic plague causes buboes, or inflamed lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are part of your lymphatic system. They clean your blood or clean lymphocytes out of your blood and clean the like immune cells out of your blood. So when you're sick, they get full and then they swell, which is why the doctor likes to feel your armpits when they think you're sick. It doesn't make a lot of sense. They also feel your neck. There are lymph nodes there as well. So your tonsils are lymph nodes. Uh, people thought that the bubonic plague was caused from rats. However, a very recent study in 2015 found that the climate at the time in the 1340s wasn't great for rats. They looked at tree rings and they're like, Psh, there's not, this isn't good. So they figured it must be gerbils instead. So those little things you're keeping in your homes maybe with the little pipes and stuff, they're killing you. They're not, maybe not those are. I'm not gonna say they are, but you know, they may have caused the plague under this new science. Another virus was smallpox or the variola virus. It was, uh, you know, in comparison to the plague, you know, this is actually way worse. You'd think that the plague was the worst. No, the variola virus, smallpox. Smallpox killed 300 million people. That's way more than the plague. It causes death and blindness. It's super contagious and it is eradicated. There's a reason, because the WHO, the World Health Organization, launched a huge campaign and they eradicated the smallpox using vaccines. Another virus that you will hear a lot about, usually in the media, is HIV. Maybe less so now, because we're doing pretty good at fighting it, but especially in the 90s and in the 80s, the human immunodeficiency virus was everywhere in terms of media coverage. 36 million people have died from the human immunodeficiency virus since the 1980s, and in Africa is where you get 95% of your new infections today. One in every 20 adults in Sub-Saharan Africa is HIV positive. That's a huge number. It's actually still the biggest viral killer today since we've eradicated smallpox and the bubonic plague isn't that big a deal anymore. However, a virus you've probably heard a lot about recently is Ebola. Ebola struck in 1976 for the first time in the Democratic Republic of Congo and also in Sudan. But there are different strains of Ebola and that is gonna change whether or not it's super deadly or just kind of deadly or not at all. Ebola restin doesn't even make people sick, but Bundi Bugyo, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it, <laughs> kills 50% of the people that it infects, and the Sudanese strain of Ebola kills 71% of the people it infects. It's a huge amount. It causes fever, it causes pain, it causes diarrhea, vomiting, unexplained hemorrhaging, and that all makes sense if you know what Ebola wants to have happen. It wants to spread through bodily fluids, so it makes sense to make bodily fluids ooze out of somebody who's infected. And that's exactly what it does, which is very difficult for people who are dealing with death because they have to clean the bodies, especially in parts of Africa. If you want to know more about it, if you're morbidly fascinated with death like I am, we've covered that here on Test Tube Plus as well, so check that out. The WHO, as of June 23rd of 2015, said there were 16,777 cases of Ebola in the world and 6,400 deaths, which in comparison to smallpox, HIV, and the bubonic plague is very low. That doesn't mean it's not important, but it's a very low number. We also hear about viruses like influenza, malaria, rabies. Uh, these are all common viruses you're gonna see in the news. A really common one right now is MERS, or the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. 
That one came about in 2012, and it's based in Saudi Arabia. It spread into China and Thailand recently, which is why it's in the news. The WHO actually came out and said they think it could be a threat to the entire world. But we don't really know that much about it, so I'm not really sure personally if it's going to be based on my research, but there are a number of doctors who would say the same, because MERS doesn't spread that e easily. It doesn't actually have a cure either, but we honestly don't even know where it came from. Does it spread via camels? Does it spread via bats or camel milk? These are all theories that they have. They don't even know how long people are infected or seriously anything about it other than it affects the respiratory systems and it lives at the bottom of the lungs, which is very similar to SARS, which you may remember from the early 2000s. SARS was the severe acute respiratory syndrome and it infected more than 8,000 people during a 2003 global pandemic. So also a really huge virus and all over in the news. But you have to think about it. Why is it all over in the news? It's all over in the news because viruses are so tiny that we can't see them. Anyone can catch them. Anyone can be infected by them and then maybe die from them. But that's not the virus's fault. Viruses themselves are actually super interesting and they might be some of the oldest life in existence. That's super cool. And yet they get a bad rap because they kill people sometimes, but they're just doing their jobs. They're just doing their thing. They don't even know that people exist. They don't actually know anything, but uh, you know, they're not all bad. So did I miss any viruses that you wanna know more about? Tell me down in the comments. I'll be down in the comments with you and we can talk a little bit about it and make sure you come back tomorrow to find out if viruses are actually alive because there are some people that think that they aren't, some people they think they are. Make sure you subscribe for more Test Tube Plus, and if you want to know what might happen after you catch one of these viruses, again, check out our topic about death from last week. Thanks for watching.